to be doing a video of my GCSE results, as you will know from the title. Um, but yeah, so first I'm just going to say, if you want to see the results and that's all you want to see, then skip about uh, three, four minutes into the video, uh, half, about halfway, I'm not sure how long this is going to be. Um, but yeah, I would say watch the whole video because at the start I say what I think I was going to get. And then at the end, there's a bit of positive vibes for you. Um, if you also did your GCSEs. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that jazz. And yeah, if you want to see what I got, then just carry on watching. Okay, so I just got out of bed about um, 10 minutes ago. Just went to pee and stuff, to be honest. But yeah... So, GCSE results day is today, um, because it's already half eight and I've got to leave at nine. I'll just go over it quickly. Um, I don't really care what I get, I'm not that worried. I know that sounds like, you know, why the fuck don't you care? Sorry, that was a bit of a fluff. Um, but I don't because I think every course I need to get on, I don't need that high of marks. and. In the future, I want to be like a teacher or a social worker, something like that. And honestly, all that matters is passing English and maths. So if I don't pass, that's going to be a bit of a piss take. Um, but I honestly think I have passed. Like, in my own opinion, I would say that I'm quite a smart girl. But I didn't try as hard as I could the last two years of school. And part of me regrets it, but then again, I'm like well what's the point of regretting it because you've done it now you can't change it what's the point beating yourself up about it and if i pass then I, if i fail then i have to release it if i pass then that's great isn't it but i know i think i should get about a six in english um maths if i've got a four i'll be proud because i don't even think i was gonna pass um physics i think i'm gonna fail because that was incredibly hard and I was bullshitted half the questions. I only answered them because, you know, just guess if you don't know. Um, uh, I won at least a seven in RV because I was predicted an eight. So if I don't get that, but there was a couple of questions on the actual exam that, like, we never practised. So I think the teachers will understand if we got a little bit less. And... Um, what else I was going to say? Ah, oh, I want at least a six because my teacher told me I was going to get a seven. And German, I want at least a six because I was predicted a six, but I said I was going to work towards a seven, but I didn't work really, really hard. So hopefully I've got at least a six because I'd say I'm decent at German. I was going to do it at A level, but I have to travel like an hour and a half to get to the closest place that does the course, so fuck that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go hop in the shower now since, as I said, it's at, um, already half eight. I think I said that. And um, yeah, next time I'm on the video, I'll be with Amelia. Uh, and we'll be walking to school. Hello. Wait, is it recording yet? <laughs> so I'm with Amelia now. I'm not very good at vlogging on the phone, so if you can't see my face, then sorry. Um, I'm eating my croissant. Hey, don't croissant. So it's five past nine. We'll probably be like the tenth person there, because I bet there's some people that's been waiting there since like ten to nine. Because they're actual weirdos. They're not weirdos. They're just anxious. I don't know. <laughs> So, while I eat my croissant, how do you feel? I feel like poo because I, okay, I've got work today, so if i got to cry, I'm going to be crying to customers on the phone. Be like, I've got to five today. <laughs> but anyways, I don't want that to happen, you know. we got this, guys. Come on. You've got this. Wow, this will be, like, uploaded after, so. They don't got it if they don't got it already. But it's fine. But if you, if You'll you still get far in life. Yeah, it doesn't, like, even though people say it doesn't define you, like, still, I'd cry, like, that defines me. Really? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. It defines you to an employer. Yeah. But if you did get to an interview stage in a job, there's always going to be people that are going to hire you. You're just going to have to work that little bit harder. Man, I just don't want to cry when I open it. <laughs> no, can I jump into your arms when I cry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. 
going to go now because my arm's aching. So I will be back after I've got the results, unless you want to film it for me. I'll film it for her. Okay. No, I need to phone my mum. So I'll call, I'll be on the phone. I'll be on the camera after. So, <laughs> I am back. I am back with Stinky Marley. Stinky Marley. Yeah. Sorry, he was just outside in the wet. So sorry about the squeaking. But I'm here to tell you my GCSE results. So just quickly for anyone who doesn't know, you probably do, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, with the new 9 to 1 thing, basically a 9 is like an A star star, an A is an A star, a 7 is an A, a B, no, a 6 is a B and a 5 is a C and then a 4 is like a low C but it's still a C so. <laughs> but yeah, so these are my results, I'm going to go lowest to highest. So I got a 5 in biology and physics. I got sixes in chemistry, English language, and maths, which I said I was going to fail. So, well, I said I was going to get four in life. So, yeah, that's good. Um, I got sevens in art, German, and history. I honestly thought I was going to, like, fail history or get, like, a four. So, um, I'm really happy with that. And then I got eights in English literature and RE. So... Yeah, I got two eye stars, practically, so that's really good. You okay, Marley? Marley's proud of me, I think. I think he's just being annoying because I haven't given him any food yet. But he should have been fed earlier, so... Are you proud of me? <laughs> he's just thinking about outside. But yeah, so it came on this little pink piece of paper. How nice it was on pink. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy with what I got. The fives are kind of bothering me on there because like, you know, when you've got up to an eight, I didn't really want a five, but that's just my personal best. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say to everyone, well done. And no matter what you got, whether you have to reset or you know, you got, you passed through flying colours, is the phrase, uh, you, as long as you did your best, then you should be proud, and if you didn't do your best, then, you know, to try harder, and if you're doing A-levels, or an apprenticeship, full-time work, whatever you want to do, if you are not very happy with your GCSEs, then just try that extra little bit harder in the thing you are doing next and I think that should make you feel a lot better because I know that I could have tried harder but I feel like I'm a naturally academic person kind of thing but I English language I knew I was going to get lower in because um if anyone remembers comprehension as it was called in primary school I hated it I could not stand it um so I'm proud of just getting a B in that and I think that if you passed you should be proud even if you failed a couple things you should focus on the ones that you did well in and if you can't get if you can't get where you want to go I think that just search the options don't give up because I'm someone who gives up it easy and now that I've got these grades and I haven't disappointed myself I am going to take that motivation and go on my laptop and actually do something with it because I'm not really sure what to do. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to call my dad and I am going to see about my college interviews and stuff. And hopefully I will get where I want to go. So, yeah. And say well done everyone and if you're feeling down here's a cute dog for you to look at i'm not very cute you can just look at marley so say bye marley say bye <laughs>